Hello everyone. 2023 is coming to a close, and with that, it's a perfect time to sit back and enjoy a cup of tea while looking back on all the amazing creations by the community this year. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to look through these creations and name some of them the community's favorite, granting recognition of the hard work that went into these pieces. First, I should preface with a short explanation of how this process worked and how we're able to name some of these pieces the community's favorite. The community's awards were held primarily on CityCord as opposed to Unoff, is because CityCord is a much larger, much more public server than its sister. In CityCord, we opened a window where anyone could submit any art, fanfics, or memes they had created, and also vote on other pieces to nominate them for the awards. After about a month of submissions and voting, we found that the top nominated pieces of each category we collected them, and we made a general poll which we sent out and collected responses from. It is this general poll that we use to name the winners of the awards, as well as some other community information we gathered that will be presented alongside these awards. With that information in mind, I'd like to state this community is insanely creative and interesting. And even if the piece you made or love didn't win or get nominated, it doesn't mean it wasn't amazing. Simply that there's a lot of contestants for great work, and it's very hard to pick a top candidate from those suggestions. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So let's just start off immediately with the award for the community's favorite fan fiction. This year, many writers inspired by the beautiful story of Signalis put their pen to the paper and wrote from their soul their own little stories to extend upon Signalis. Some stories brought happiness to help with our brain rot, while others remind us of the depth of despair that is inspiration wrought in our first playthrough. We shall take this time to commemorate the pieces that the majority of the community sat down and really devoured this year. So first, we have the bronze medal, and the silver medal, as the spot for second place was held by a three-way tie. So all three of these titles will receive both the bronze and silver medal for best fanfic. So taking 11.6% of the vote each, we have a joint tie between Cycle 365 by Ostheme, Stories of Heimat by Yuri, and Echoes by Lexi. I will now take a moment to introduce each of these pieces to give them the attention they have earned. First, we should start with Cycle 365 by Ostheme. This is a short story that can be read in 5 minutes or less that utilizes only dialogue between Elster and Arianne to discuss a dream Arianne had, as well as some general banter. Ostheme wrote it for Signalis' first birthday as a love letter of sorts to the community. Next, we have Stories of Heimat by Yuri. This story has a content warning due to graphic descriptions of violence and death, but it takes place shortly after the events of the game, when strange events begin occurring in Heimat's capital, involving a road replica model in the form of Arianne Young. A large cast of disconnected characters are swept in the aftermath, living their own separate stories under the watchful eye of both the nation and the rogue replicas. It is quite long, with around 290k words spread throughout seven shorter works. It is still ongoing as of the award. The last submission in second place is Echoes, the Silicon Queen, by Lexi. This story follows a continuation of the artifact ending with the following description. The Silicon Queen is a mysterious psychological horror thrower following the artifact ending of Signals. Wake up from the dream you have been trapped in to live once again. Bear witness, be not afraid. It is content warnings for graphic violence, strong language, disturbing content. Um, it is also quite long with 30,000 plus words and is still ongoing. It is unique for having original artwork, graphics, and accompanying music. These pieces are all amazing, and I'm proud to present them with the recognition they deserve. However, next up, we have the winner of this category. For one story, clearly caught the community's eye, taking home an astounding 44.2% of the vote, and as well as the gold award for our community's favorite fan fiction, we have The Herald and Her Knight by Ostem. The Herald and Her Knight is a mostly grounded depiction of adventure and romance following the artifact dash willy ending. Told through Arion's perspective for the most part, with ample exploration of depression, grief, trauma, guilt, and boundless affection. It should be noted that it contains spoilers for the game, as well as content warnings for suicide ideation, graphic violence, body horror, and depression. It is by far the longest story to win an award today, with 19 chapters and 100,000 plus words. However, clearly, the read is worth it to take home the gold tonight. It should also be noted that it is part of a shared fictional canon project with Dear Agonist, who helps write the story. A massive congratulations to Austin for the gold, as well as to all writers who wrote fanfics over the course of the year. So, from the riveting stories, we can now pivot over to the community census poll. This was a poll taken by Sigicourt to help us better understand the Signalis community, and serves as a useful way to really get a pulse check on the community as a whole due to the scale of the census. So let's get into some of the data. 
first up, the gender breakdown. This found out that 43.5% of the community was male, 31.8% was female, 17% was non-binary, and 7.7% was some other form of gender representation. The Sikhi community is quite gay, with 68.7% being a member of the LGBTQ plus community, and 47.4% being within the trans umbrella. Of the gays, the most popular flavour was bisexual slash pansexual, which occupies 42.4% of the community. Second place was gay slash lesbian, occupying 26.9%, asexual has 7.6%, demi has 7.2%, and aromantic has 3.7%. Outside of just being gay, the Siggy community is really from all over the world, 52.8% being from North America, 30.2% 30.2% from Europe, 7% from Asia, 49 from South America, and 43 from Oceania or Australia. These players from all over, however, may mainly choose a singular platform to play on. This being Steam, which took 83.3% of the player base, followed by Xbox at 9.4, Switch at 8.6, and PlayStation at 8.4. Finally, the census also found out that 76.4% of the community was between the ages of 18 to 27 and 11.1% was between the ages of 13 and 17, putting the vast majority of the community as Gen Z. However, we do have a few millennials with 10.7% of the community being between the ages of 28 and 37 and 1.8% being older than that. This puts the average age of the community to be around 22 years old. Moving on from that stat dump, we can now move to the nomination for best meme. A lot of memes were made this year. I mean, something we really enjoy as a community. But it's time to select the few that really rose to the top. For bronze and silver, we again find yet another tie. This time of two people instead of three. The nomination in question being Girlhood is a Spectrum by MSE and This Meme by Yuri. These both took home 25.9% of the vote and seem to enjoy a lot of uh, affection from quite a lot of people. I'll leave both on screen now for a minute so they can be enjoyed. From there, we can now move on to the winner of gold for best meme. So the winner of the best meme for the 2023 Sinatra's Community Awards goes to Onyx for Folk Blast. This simple yet silly meme took home 29.3% of the vote when it rise to the top as the community's favorite. But for memes, we get to the heart-hitting questions. What are the community's opinions on things? To start, we have the little Scrimblow replica himself, Adler. This man has taken some L's before in popularity polls, but this time, in a question regarding his approval, he received 53.2% of the community saying that they like him, which is quite a good performance for this little admin. Next, we have Cybin versus Hunter. When asked to choose between the two, Hunter barely squeaked out on top, with 52.6%. When asked, who is the strongest buyer resident? It was a close race between Arion and the Empress, but Ari came out on top with 50% of the vote versus the Empress's 48.6%. But from silly questions to more relevant ones. When asked, favorite weapon, people seem split. Third place, with 27.4%, was the shotgun. Second, with 22.6%, was the rifle. And the winner, with 32.3%, was the revolver. This makes sense, considering their varied roles. But this lack of clear majority carried over into the question of who was everyone's favourite character. This one saw Falk and Calibri share third at 9.2% each, and in a poetic fashion, Arion with 11.7% in second, and Elster with 27.1% in first. Finally, to close up the popularity poll, we have favourite ending, which was not really that close. 2.3% voted leave, 9.2% voted memory, 24.2% said Lily, and in a clear first place, with 56.3% of the vote, was promise. Now hopefully the community has remembered their promise, as we are now going into the final round of awards, these being for the best fan art. This community is insanely creative, with artistic talent of beautiful degree, so it's no surprise that this was a very tight race, with lots of nominations in the submission process, as well as very tight nominations even when we got to the general poll. No nomination received over 40% of the vote. 
So for the first award, and for bronze, taking home 15.5% of the community's nomination is this untitled piece by Dyes. This drawing of Elster seems to really draw in a lot of popularity, and it's a great representation of our favorite protagonist. But surpassing it slightly to take home silver, and 31% of the community's vote, is this untitled piece by Schromp. This piece demonstrates all of the replicas we meet throughout the game, all next to each other. It's really a great piece, and certainly deserves the attention it has received. However, it's time to close this popsicle stand and hand out the last award of the night, as well as really close up this entire award ceremony as a whole. The final award of the night is going to be for the gold medal of Community Favorite Signalis Fan Art of 2023. This piece captivated 32.8% of the community's attention and is none other than the PS1 cover by name. This piece shows Elster on a PlayStation 1 disc cover with a stylized rendition that harkens back to the retro imagery that Signalis invokes in a perfect way that it's very quite easy to see why it captivated the eye of so many people. But with that, we have concluded the Signalis 2023 Community Awards. Massive congratulations to everyone who won, and once again, thank you to the many artists, writers, and just general members of the community who helped keep the brain rot burning. May 2024 continue this amazing trend. But this has been Christopher Beast and Strawby Beast. We hope to see you all next time. Mm -hmm.